So everybody, welcome back to Game Builder Garage Hottest Games of the Week, where we're gonna play some of the hottest games of the week as found on mygames.garage. So the first level we're gonna check out is called Floppa Clicker. You can see the game ID right there. Okay, so this one's called Floppa Clicker version 1.0. And as far as I know, okay, click. I don't know how to click on it. So the, is this one of the ones where I use the touch screen? That was the problem with the, pre the first game I played last episode. All right, so we, ha oh, look at this, okay. Yes, okay. We're not gonna do it next time, we're gonna do it now. Okay, flop a clicker. So I can't click any of the other cubes, but I can click flop a. Press A, okay. Enjoy. Oh, uh, this is kind of cute, this is really cute. So I just keep clicking floppa. So did I increase my I increased my ability to click? This is level two. So my friends, I so now that I'm actually able to click on floppa, I give this game a B. This is a solid B game. I'm not sure what the objective is or how many times I need to click. Click floppa. Okay, I, I kind of like the intro of this one. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So we're, how did I bring in everything at once last time? Because I pushed all the keys. Okay, hold on, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna play Papa a little more. Bear with me, my friends, bear with me. We're gonna do this. We've gotta click faster. Okay, we got a thousand points. What do we get? Snap! We beat we beat Floppa Clicker. This is once again a highlight of the day. We have we have beaten one of the games. Okay, that moves us up to the B plus category. What an awesome recreation! That was fun. This one is called Super Apple Shine Guy. All right, my friends, Super Apple Shine Guy Two. Problem described here as well. So this is a Mario Sunshine clone. Uh, if I use my right trigger, I can spray, which is awesome. What happens if I touch this? Nothing, okay. It looks like I have a frenemies over here. Let's go spray some water on that, wait, okay. Yes, okay. Oh wow, oh, they, they go right out. Okay, so, it's a platformer. Hold R. To walk while spraying, you can use L to focus the camera. Uh, it kind of looks like I can't use my wall jump. I didn't realize you could turn off the wall jump ability. Apparently you can. Okay, we got a point up there. So, HP is 4, which is awesome. No, okay. Can I reset? Okay, let's run over here. Mad Monster says I saw this game showcase on Jay's channel. I'm not sure who Jay is, but I'll have to check him out. Okay, we'll try this one out. Uh, usually with these type of games, I like to see some like clear objectives of like what the heck I'm supposed to do. I can't make it up this section. Is frustrating to me. I'm just bouncing around. Is there a way to jump higher? Oh, you can bounce, kinda. Let's try it. Camera's a little jerky, that's not their fault, but. No! Boo. There must be some secret. If anyone knows the secret to jumping higher in this game, I would love to hear it. Is there a button to charge the spray? Uh, we're gonna find out. I think they said left trigger, so let's try and charge it. Yeah, so right trigger charges it a little well. Shine's gotten zero, what, or sorry, one. So here's the problem, I don't know how to get up. Uh, you can change nozzles, there is a hover nozzle. 
Okay, how do you change the nozzles? Oh, wait. <gasps> oh, happiness. Is that... There's also a dash nozzle. How cool. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Okay, let's... Oh, my camera. I lost my camera. Okay, let's charge again, then. There it is, there it is. Oh, this is cool, okay. We've just changed the whole thing. This is my favorite now. Oh, I like this game now. Okay, we still have plenty of power. Let's hover, dude. I only wanna use hover now. Hover's all you need. Disco says let's go. What's this? Okay, I need to get the shine underneath here. We might win this game. There it is. Got it, my friends. Okay. There's a shine over there. Let's go get it. Oh, water refills after you grab shines. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, this game is the best I'm, I'm seeing in a little while. It's actually super fun. Now that I know how to uh, use the this thing. So I can take out that guy too, right? Here we go, here we go. Did we win? Look at it. Oh, wait, there's more over there. Okay. There's more shines. Shine time. There's more down there, too. Uh, this is awesome. As long as this guy doesn't attack me. Oh, he does. Okay, we gotta take him out. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, buddy. This one has... So the, I would not even dare platform across this stuff. But this uh, hover mechanic is super fun. Okay, we got it. There's a shine down there. Shine over there. There's one clear across the way. Shoot, okay, and there's one up there. So we're gonna go for the top one. This'll kill him, right? Let's watch out for that. Okay. Okay, there was one clear the snot up in the sky, right? Stinks. Okay, we got it. There's one down here. There's a lot of shines in here. Are there more appearing? I think there are more appearing every time I get some. I wish there was a counter. I wish there was a counter to tell me how many shines I need to get. But I'm pretty good at the floating part of this game. Okay, we got that one. Okay, let's just run to this one. You can just take it easy. Oh, almost went off the edge. So, pretty straightforward game. Uh, one of the better ones uh, that I've seen today. So the question is, how many shines do I need? Ooh. 16, I've gotten 16 shines, and I'm not sure what to do now. I think I've gotten them all. There's got to be some I'm missing, right? Ooh. No! I, can, I don't think I can make it. I'm really nervous. Oh, crap. Okay. Oh, snap. Look at this. Oh, I didn't make it. And there's one right there. Oh, sad. I lost my backpack. Am I just hosed now? Oh. Game over, game over. All right, I give this game a B plus. This was super fun. Um, I would love a counter to let me know how many shines I need, some kind of success at the end of it. But that was really cool. Really good job to the maker of this level. Okay, this is called Bob Om Battlefield. We'll show the code in just a minute. This is Bob Om Battlefield. What, this is a, uh, this is a, looks like a Mario 64 type game. What happens if I touch these bombs? Nothing. Okay, I'm not sure what the objective is. Let's go exploring. No dash. Just walking along. Can I wall jump up this stuff? Yep. 
but I can't make it up. Da, 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 da. Oh, I fell too fast and my backpack broke off. Interesting. So this is Bob on Battlefield. Okay, is this my objective to break these? Because I can do that. Okay, let's break all the uh, break all the posts. I'm not sure what the objective is, but I found out I can break the posts, so I'm gonna break them. Wait, can't break that one though, curiously. But I can jump on top of this building and break part of it. Okay, there's something up there for me. Let's run up the top. Let's take this little ramp. Okay, once again, this game is called Bob on Battlefield, one of the hottest games of the week, as per my games, Dot Garage. Wait, did I win or lose? Let's check it out again. Uh, John D says, what is Game Builder Garage? Excellent question. Game Builder Garage is essentially a, uh, it's a Nintendo Switch game where it is a game, uh, game engine, essentially. So you can code and program your own games and share those codes with other people to play. I probably should have done a better description of that uh, in my description. This is a, a game that somebody created called uh, bomb, I can't even remember the name of it, but it's bomb, a bomb playfield level. And I made it to the top. I think the, I think the uh, core objective is to make it up to that yellow bomb up top. And so I did that and it ended the game. Uh, didn't have a success sound, so I'm not sure if that was a success or not, but we're calling it a success. Clarity, that, you know, with my, my game and level design students, I, I push that pretty hard. It's uh, readability. You want to make sure everything is crystal clear for the player so they know what they're supposed to do, what they'll be punished for, and what they'll be rewarded for, right? So my reward is that ended the game, but I'm not sure whether it was a success or not. I give this one a C, a solid C. It was a good game. It was fun. It's the starting. It has the bones, the potential uh, to be something. You see here it's version 2, which means there was probably a version 1, and they will continue to add to it to make it more impressive. Uh, looking forward to the future iteration of Bob Om um, Battlefield. Next on the list is uh, Obnoxiously Overused Zone. It says, it's, okay, it says another side scroller. When you jump, you turn into a ball. Oh, this is cool. When you roll, you turn into a ball. Uh, this is fun. It's a Sanic game. Oh, I love the rings, they're super cute. Oh, and you can hold down run. This is, I'm not gonna lie, this is one of the better feeling Sonic games I've ever played. It has some speed to it. Look at that, oh my goodness, that's awesome. One of the problems with collectibles like these rings that I've noticed is they've got a little bit too much collision for you. Like they shouldn't stop you, you shouldn't hit against them. I'm not sure that's the user's fault or if there's anything to fix or if Nintendo, if Nintendo ever does a second version of uh, Game Builder Garage, I would love to see them A, give the player more nodon usages and to give them a little bit more flexibility with some of the controls. But this is fun. Let's try the spring springboard. Spring spring doesn't work. Okay. It has a spring, it doesn't work. Let's jump on the TV. Uh, Mad Monster says I made a better Sonic Physics game. That's awesome. Oh, I died. I wasn't a I wasn't a rolly ball. Sad. Okay, let's get our rings. See, I'm not supposed to die. Let's keep going. See how far we can go. Let's watch out for the uh, for the ladybug. Very cool. This is a fun Sonic game, though. All in all. I give this one a B plus. Very clear objectives. It's fun, the controls are fun. Ba -ba -ba -ba, and we beat it, we beat it. There's the finish line, you get a reward sound. Actually, I actually kind of like it when they end the game and, and take you out of it at the end, but not a requirement. Uh, very cool game. Let us move on, my friends. We'll end that one. And the last but not least, we're gonna play a little game called Mario Odyssey. Oh cool, I got my hat. Collect nine moons and enter, uh, and the chest will appear. So we have the objective, collect nine moons. The 
camera buttons are inverted, so here's... Is this a moon? Can I collect these? You can. Created by Iron Ace. Inverted camera. Drives me nuts. Some people like that. Okay, there's my galaxy center. That says three, so I still need some more moons. This is this is cool. I can see there's some moons up there. There's a uh, princess mermaid. Hello, how are you doing? Oh, I can turn into her. <gasps> that is cool. This uses the swap note on you were talking about. How do I get over there now? That is awesome. Oh no, look at that though. I found, I found, uh, I wouldn't have found that otherwise. I think I broke the game though. I think by turning into the mermaid, going across, I can now not get that uh, cloud. Oh, she went back, okay. They fixed that problem. Okay. So we're swimming across the water. There might be another one in one of those. Okay, here we go. Let's try and... There we go. Got it. This is really cool. Let's see if there is another one hidden inside here. No. Okay, so now that I understand the Odyssey controls, I need to go become somebody else. Let's go to the forest. There's one, but there is a banana right here. I know they're supposed to be moons, but they look like bananas. So there should be a banana hidden in the forest. And then they probably hid one in a weird place. I like the the way these are created. Okay, there's none. In, nope. Oh, you can throw your hat. I didn't even know you could do that. Okay. You can throw your hat, but can you jump on it? That is awesome. This is really cool. And there's something floating up in the sky right there, you can see. What is it? Can I see that high? You can see a shadow over here, right? So how do I get it? Okay, let's let's become one of these guys. Let's throw our hat at him. I can't become one of these. But I can do this. Which is probably not what Oh no! No! No kill volume at the end of it. So that means I have to reset. See, there was a moon. I can see... There are moons in the forest. Hold on. How did I not see these before? So that's one. Two. I looked like three that I collected before, but we'll... Okay, there we go. Okay, so I think I've got all the forest moons. Um, there's one over here. This is four. Is there a counter over here? So apparently I have six. So this will be seven and eight. So we will do this. We will become the mermaid. Walk over the water, because that's what mermaids do. And then we need to jump out. Come on. No, shoot. Okay, right trigger jumps out. And she disappears, which is awesome. Okay, there was a banana in one of these. There it was. So you can just jump straight out. Get your banana. Okay, that's eight. So someone said the box may contain another banana. How do you... Got it. Look at that. Was, that, was there a banana in there? Okay. You just couldn't see it because it was a card. And where's the chest? Does anybody see the chest? Collect nine moons and the chest will appear. There it is, okay. The chest, nobody told me the chest would appear up top. So the, I think the designer's intention was that would be the last moon you would collect, would be the uh, mermaid balloon. But this is uh, this is open world, so I can do whatever I want. Okay, let's, let's, let's enter the mermaid. We'll put our hat on the mermaid, okay? And then we will jump out. We win, we win. All right, my friends, so this has been the hottest, the hottest games of the week for Game Builder Garage. What did you think? Let us know in the comments. But if you like my content, please give it a follow.